rained heavily all night. Teddy, a young boy of ten, ran out into the garden. He saw a mongoose lying wet and still on the grass. Here's a dead mongoose, Teddy called out to his mother. Let's bury him. No, said Teddy's mother. His heart is beating faintly. Perhaps he will live. Let's take him inside and dry him. Teddy's father wrapped him up in an old woolen muffler and placed him near the fire. The mongoose sneezed. Teddy and his parents were delighted. They gave him some meat and then took him outside. He sat in the sun and shook his long, fluffy tail till it looked like a bottle brush. Soon, Teddy and the little mongoose became very good friends. The mongoose would run through the tall grass, crying, Ricky ticky ticky ticky. Teddy used to laugh at him and started calling him Ricky ticky Tavi. One morning, Ricky ticky was wandering about in the garden. There he saw Nag, the big cobra, and his wife, Nagina. Although Ricky ticky was young, he knew that snakes were his enemies. Nag also knew that a mongoose in the garden meant death for him and his family. It was Please night. Teddy carried Ricky Tiki to his bed, as usual. But as soon as the boy was asleep, Ricky Tiki went off for his nightly walk round the house. As he moved about, he heard a faint sound. It came from the bathroom of Teddy's parents. Ricky Tiki quickly entered the bathroom. He could hear Nag and Nagina talking on the other side of the bathroom door. Nagina was telling her husband, Kill the three people in the house. The mongoose will go away when there is no one left. Then we will have the garden to ourselves. Ricky Tiki saw Nag slithering into the bathroom through the drain. Nag knew that Teddy's father would come to the bathroom around midnight. So he coiled himself up and went to sleep there. Ricky Tiki was hiding behind the door, watching Nag. When Nag was fast asleep, Ricky Tiki jumped on his head and dug his teeth into the snake's flesh. Nag was furious. He threw his head from side to side and Ricky Tiki was flung against the wall again and again. Ricky Tiki thought he was going to die. He was bleeding, but he did not let go of his hold of Nag's head. During the struggle, Nag's tail upset the mug and soap dish. They fell to the ground with a clatter. Suddenly, the wild struggling stopped. Nag's head dropped down and did not move. Teddy's father, who had entered the bathroom on hearing the noise, had shot Nag with his gun. Teddy's father picked up the bleeding Ricky Tiki and went back to his bedroom. He asked his wife to put some medicine on Ricky Tiki's wounds. I killed the snake, he said, but Ricky Tiki saved our lives. Teddy's mother washed Ricky Tiki's wounds with medicine. She petted his sore head and gave him some toffees. Under her loving care, Ricky Tiki felt better. So he fluffed up his tail and ran off to Teddy's. Please subscribe my YouTube channel.